Oh, hi, ladies. Just down in the basement getting some potatoes for supper. Oh, man. When the harvest comes in, it is so nice, isn't it? Bringing all the stuff up from the basement. David and I were talking about aprons the other day, you know? <laughs> I always wear one. But anyways, look at this one here. I got some out to show you. Now, this one, pigs and, and hens and everything. This one is Princess Diana's wedding. Can you imagine? And then do you remember the ones that you used to be able to get about advertising someplace you visited? And this one's kind of cool, Christmas. Didn't we always wear our Christmas apron for company? I think this is, yep, this is another advertising one. You know there were half ones, full ones. I like the full myself. And here's another full one. I just got this one yesterday at Value Village. Jonathan was the best man at a wedding. And here is my absolute favorite. Don't anybody ask for this. This is my African Heritage one. I absolutely love it. Nobody gets that. But anyways, so I've just been making cookies today. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. here they come. Oh boy, now keep your meat hooks off these, David Topping. Oh, aren't they good? Chocolate chip, oh, I just love them. Anyway, so I've been making cookies today. Oh, it's so much fun. Hey there, so, you got something on your face. No, I don't, do I, John? Yep. No, oh my goodness. Anyways, folks, I would like to read something to you about the history oh, of aprons. I don't think our kids know what an apron is. The principal use of grandma's apron was to protect the dress underneath because she only had a few dresses. So it was easier to wash aprons than dresses and they used less material. But along with that, it served as a pot holder for removing hot pans from the oven. It was wonderful for drying children's tears yeah. and an occasion was even used for cleaning out dirty ears. From the chicken coop, the apron was used for carrying eggs, fussy chicks, and sometimes half-hatched eggs to be finished in, warm, in the warming oven. When company came, those aprons were ideal for hiding... Places, David, put that back! For hiding oh. places for shy kids. Mm. And when the weather was cold, Grandma wrapped it around her arms. Those big old aprons wiped many a perspiring brow, bent over the hot oven. Chips and kindling wood were brought into the kitchen in that apron. Yeah. From the garden, it carried all sorts of vegetables. After the peas had been shelled, it carried out the hulls. In the fall, the apron was used to bring in apples that had fallen from the trees. When unexpected company drove up the road, it was surprising how much furniture that old apron could dust in a matter of seconds. When dinner was ready, Grandma walked out onto the porch, waved her apron, and the men knew it was time to come in from the fields to dinner. It will be a long time before someone invents something that will replace that old-time apron, apron that serves so many purposes. No kidding, eh? Remember, Grandma used to set her hot baked apple pies on the windowsill to cool. Do. Her granddaughter set theirs on the windowsill to thaw. They would go crazy now, trying to figure out how many germs we're on that apron. I don't think I've ever caught anything. David! I told you no! I don't think I ever caught anything from an apron. <laughs> You're bad. 